video from Code Review IO. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Add Siri button and the creation of Siri shortcuts in Flutter. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel for more content. Already subscribed, please make sure to hit the like button and share it, please. So, what are actually shortcuts? So, as a documentation from Apple, it's, it's efforts, the uh, things that you do frequently and instead of opening the whole app to do it, you can do it via the shortcuts and then give you more easy way, uh, especially by using Siri to initiate whatever shortcut that you want. For example, here I can use uh, Siri to initiate this action, which actually will open an, uh, the app for me, for example. So you can create your shortcuts and I think most of the apps now are supporting this and you can see all the shortcuts that provided by Apple by default, for example. On our own, we are going to create our shortcuts from within the app. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to create also video how to create your shortcuts inside here so it can be a reactive, let's say, shortcut. So another disclaimer here maybe I uh, need to mention is I was actually looking for how to do a video actually to do the shortcuts in, in Flutter, but during the uh, the development, I have seen that there is no any library is in Flutter that handle this. So I actually ended up end up with creating a library to add the shortcuts. So after uh, the time that you see this video, there will be a there will be a package or a library that support this add button. So you don't actually need to create your own. But for the sake of this video, you need also to understand how it works in the behind the scenes and another and another hand is also that you are going if you want to open any pull request or any changes uh, to the library that I'm creating so this library create flutter series shortcuts and you will see it or all, all the information will be in the description below so let's get started so we start first by initiating a new package and that's by using this command so you can put your uh, your uh, organization here uh, for me, I created it as it is and then put this uh, option as a Swift. This is already mentioned in the Flutter documentation. Now, if I go through this, you will see that it creates three type of classes, let's say. The main one where there is an uh, example of one of the methods that's exposed from the native. The other one is mainly for the interface where uh, actually you have uh, uh, all the methods. So for example, you're getting the tokens and then you expose it to uh, all the channels and it will already create a channel by you to so Flutter. So you can change this to your own. For me, this one seems fine and it will be also the same in the package. The rest are actually mainly that uh, any a method that you want to expose to will be here. So you're actually overriding the current uh, class uh, let's say the, the the abstract class and if we look to the ios we don't really have to care about the assets uh, mainly we are mostly working with the classes so this is basically what comes with where uh, there is a function and that method is actually um, exposed by using the system version and then we need only to register this method inside the flutter um, a thread or inside the main thread, let's say. Now, if we go to, for example, this is totally a Flutter um, project, and it has, if we go to pub spec, it, it will look actually for the path or our own. So whenever we do changes, it will be very handy to do examples here. And in the main, uh, there is just normal uh, tomb, uh, no, boilerplate of for Flutter. Now, this is not, uh, we will not work for uh, on this until the last step so we will basically we'll go through all these and together with the classes here so inside our classes in, in ios we create a new file called add to siri button the name is up to you and then uh, we create the class where we say add to siri button factory this will be annotated by available to from ios 12 as already mentioned in the documentation the siri is only available from uh, iOS 12. This class will be annotated by uh, an S object, the type and Flutter platform view factory. And this is give us an idea of actually making the messenger. Uh, this is messenger, let's say, it's uh, the communicating between the Flutter and 
um, the flutter view and also the ios so here we can we have the init messenger and this will be instantiated mainly we are more looking for this so this is the method to create which will be uh, coming from the uh, from the class of flutter platform so it will be overrided and then we are setting the identifiers to our view this class will not uh, is not created yet so we will create it the rest are basically uh, just boilerplate have the flutter intents and intense ui so here intent and intense ui will be available uh, responsible for uh, shortcuts ui kit is more responsible for the view and then flutter is more responsible for the view inside flutter so this class will be uh, mainly on only the view where we need to handle uh, the view this is the overrided uh, uh, method from a flutter platform view so we need to override it by our view actually to return the ui view which is actually the ios view so we, we create a variable and then we pass it we pass this variable by instantiated add to series button so this is also another class and this class will be only passing only the arguments and the frame we don't really need the view id and others to pass it to here or the messenger so in this class we are having uh, the button itself where we return the ui view we make the button as type of an in ui add voice shortcut button so this is coming from intense ui and here we having the all the functionality or actually all the logic that's related to the button for example the styling and also the arguments that we are passing so this button uh, will be uh, passing an argument for any string and any and then it will listen to it to create a activity for us so here we also annotate it if there is available from ios 13 but i think this one is not really necessary so uh, i think from the ios 13 we are only available to reach the ui uh, trade collection to uh, assign it to uh, team light otherwise we are uh, we are assigning it to the black outline or uh, yeah anybody says uh, black outline i guess it will be it now could we continue by create uh, the button we assign the button to in i add a voice shortcut button and we pass the style whatever it is here and then we say create activity please and this will create activity is uh, is a function that we create and we pass all the arguments or let's say the options that we need to have these options is mainly to as you can see for uh, you saw already in the video that uh, for example the title the url if you want to pass more information this is also up to you so first we will create the activity by calling user activity we pass the activity type by reading the id from arguments and that's coming from here the title also and here we suggested a voice invocation phrase this is mainly um, what you need to say to siri to uh, instantiate your uh, your shortcuts so this is we passing also the same as the title if you want pass an url uh, from shortcut or something like this this is all uh, you can have it uh, customized in my case or in the library it will be the same as this one so you don't really need to customize only the url title and id then later we create a shortcut by calling in shortcut passing the activity that we create or more options to the button when we say translate or to resizing the shortcut and delegate it will be passed the same class and after that we make sure to add to create to call the same class and add a, a sub view because it's a type of ui view with this button so this will be added to the main thread in the end we only need to make some styling and this is also up to you when we need to uh, have some styling here and set it to active so then we create an extension and extension is meant to be uh, let's say the same name as the class name but then uh, to make it more easier to read actually uh, here in this extension we only uh, set the type to add voice series shortcut delegate and this will ask us to create uh, some uh, or to implement all, uh, all these methods and in our case these methods actually will come by this class so we have two present methods one for add voice one for edit voice 
and both they will behave the same we both in both cases we are calling get root controller and present whatever the controller will be either either is edit or add and then we pass some animated and completion as nil so this actually will call the ui application to try to reach the root view controller and set the present in it so this mainly is injecting our view inside the root uh, view controller and that's why you see the pop-up when we click on the button whatever that button whatever place it's be it from that place it will show up the pop-up now another extension we will create also uh, it's mainly to add some uh, implement implementing the methods uh, the required methods from in add views uh, controller and and also the edit so this extension will uh, implement all the required methods and override them and the idea from this is that what you want to do in case of there is an edit and what will happen after if there is a cancel if there is a, a dismiss by the user if the user uh, finish the edit and uh, click on done all of that and in such a case we are going only to uh, call the dismiss and with animated through most of the cases so we don't really care about this but we just call them uh, with dismiss you can handle this you can have also more functionality to handle this but in our cases this is mainly the generic so with that add to siri button is totally is finished now we just need to register this in the uh, main threads in um, in our Flutter Siri shortcut, shortcuts plugin, and then we are good to go. Now, if we go to Flutter Siri shortcuts plugin, this is where we, uh, as I said, we register all the uh, our functionality or the views or the methods as here. So what we need to do is first we need to make check if this will be available from iOS 12. So otherwise, we don't really need to call this the whole class if this one is not met. And then we create a factory variable and this will call our add siri to button factory and this will call the first class that we create and we pass the messenger to it with the registerer that comes from here with messenger and then after that we just call the registerer to register our factory with id add to siri button this is very important to have it aligned otherwise uh, later you cannot call this from flutter side not supported we only print that siri is not supported now in order to use this in flutter we will go to our library and then we need to go to uh, the siri shortcuts in this main siri shortcuts we have only the methods that is exposed but now we need to expose our flutter uh, view and in order to do that, we cannot put anything because this one is mainly um, added for the uh, methods that we need to have. So what we need to do is a create a class with with the scaffold, normal scaffold, and then we expose it to with the UI view controller. So in the Flutter side, we, I created a Dart file to expose the this widgets, which it will be stateless widgets. What we need to do is bring some functionalities or arguments. The first thing is, as I said, title, URL, and ID. And here is height in case if you want to play a bit with some height in the widgets. This will bring us also to our constructor. Most of these will be required. The height will not. Then uh, we bring the build method. And the first thing that we need to do is actually create the view type. And this is where we called add to Siri button. So as I said, this should match what we have in Swift. And then we create some uh, parameters. The, these parameters they are exactly the same, these parameters here. So whenever you use this widgets, you will pass these parameters and it will be overridden, overridden. And then later we just bring the container. We pass the height to it. And then we bring the UI kit view so this is coming from Flutter to help us to show any uh, view that's coming from the native side. We pass the view type, creation params. We pass in the, also the layout direction 
and also the creation codec so for now on now we can use this add to siri button and it will show the same as what we have here which is so it will show the same as here uh, where we click here it will ask siri to bring uh, the siri native um, pop-up and then we always have the ability to change a phrase to remove shortcuts and all of that all of that now there are more functionality that i have added to this library which makes you to for example if you see this it makes you to add the shortcuts without even uh, going to add uh, the implementation of add to siri so it's more about sending the whole parameters or options to this button for example and then it will add the shortcuts to you uh, and that's something if you want uh, i can do another video for it but let me know in the comments below and i will do another video for it but to give you a hint this will be more uh, adding the yeah donate shortcuts and clear shortcuts for whatever uh, they're existing and this will be also part of the library that uh, I'm developing. So we reached out to end of the video. In this video, we created um, a, a Siri button where we can add a, a shortcut to the Siri. But we didn't talk about other uh, ideas here. So this, these are for you. Let me know in the com comments below and I'll try to make video for it. And also, uh, if you have another topic that in mind, uh, let me know also and I will try to make video for the, that also and there is also a possibility that I will make video to uh, to how to create shortcuts reactive shortcuts uh, inside the shortcuts app so thank you for watching and see you next time